As by 2030, UAE and Dubai will be the center of the 3D uh, printing technology uh, station. Uh, we in Dubai Municipality have started uh, researching on uh, 3D printing. Uh, we have done a very uh, long uh, research, came up with a beautiful building, with a two-story. It has been uh, registered by the Guinness uh, Records book as the first. The different thing about this building is that it is a, a two-story building. It's a big building. It's a 640 square meter building. Uh, it has been uh, built in a very natural environment. It hasn't been covered. Uh, as we have searched that most of the three building printing researchers or the other cities that they have been um, uh, trying or researching those 3D printing buildings, are uh, they I mean they constructed in a, a very closed environment It would be quite interesting. I think Dubai historically has been known as, as a very prime destination and the, the city has changed quite a lot over the last five, ten years and there's a lot more requirement for uh, affordable units. So if you're able to have an industry which is able to produce units uh, at a cheaper rate because the costs are lower, because there's such a significantly lower uh, uh, requirement for uh, labour within those, that means the end product is likely to be a lot cheaper as well, uh, which could actually be a very good thing, and it provides sort of a uh, provides product to a segment of the market which is uh, very much uh, continuously developing in Dubai right now. What, what ha needs to happen in this 3D sector is it needs to effectively match up to today's regulation and uh, safety standards. Um, if it can do that using these new production methods, I think it would be very important. There needs to be some testing uh, within this market, so that might require a bit more lead time to actually becoming very, very mainstream. So, you know, testing for weather changes, testing for an environmental impacts and so on.